to start off the day here with and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the young man's guilt to start just a very told or a very balanced and complete guilt very shapely out of the top side of her skeleton I really like the fit job that that one has on her and uh, really really fresh really really good guilt uh, that we'll talk about some more later I'm sure uh, the young lady's guilt really like that one's length and extension from the side very functional type of skeleton just need to freshen her up and her shape up high in order to move her up any higher but a very good class to start off the day with class one first gavin young second Cora
confuse me. Is Kara here? and a good place to start here with the gill right in front of me. Uh, one that does it so, so well um, in a lot of areas. One that's super bold through her center body. One that's extremely, extremely stout at the ground. However, I would like to raise her up on our front pastures just ever so slightly, but one that's a really, really good gilt in her own right. Right here, it, the discussion becomes between two and three, and uh, one that I thought the uh, this was a very, very close pair. However, I go to to elect to use the young man's guilt. One that I just feel like is a little bit stouter at the ground, a nickel more pliable through her center body. She's bolder out of the backside of her shoulder and her fore rib than the guilt that we have in third, and a very good guilt to go in the second. The guilt in second, I really like this one silhouette from the side, does a really good job uh, when this guilt really gets her, or when this young lady gets her popped off. Uh, one that's extremely tall fronted, Good looking from the side. We need to stout this one up in her ankle and make her more genuine in her forerib and her rib shape and make her bolder in her rib shape in order to move her up any higher. <clears throat> a really nice shapely gilt that comes out in four. I uh, really like a lot of things about this gilt from the side. However, when we start studying this one, she wrinkles in her ham loin, she pinches in her forerib ever so slightly, and her hawk wants to work to the edge of her framework as she goes away but a very good guilt in her own right to beat in four. The young man's guilt that's in fifth. We like this one's density through, his, or through her forearm. Uh, we just need to go ahead and stouten this one up, freshen her up in the top side of her skeleton in order to get her up any higher, but a very, very good uh, guilt in her own right. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Good job, buddy. out here regardless of whatever level uh, you want to show at uh, different in their types and their kinds we got one that's a little bit more extended uh, a little bit more of a show guilt then we kind of got one that's a little bit more of the brood sal that's really stout and bold as she comes right at you however there's just one that I think has more and uh, one that I just tie into a lot better is the young man's guilt that one will go ahead and be champion Berkshire guilt that's a very very good pig to bring today congratulations to that young man As we get the reserve out, or as we get the second in that class out here, excuse me, 
uh, for reserve. Uh, we talked about that one in class. We just need to make that one a little bit fresher up high, but we, that one still has a lot of good things in terms of the silhouette from the side, in terms of having some length and extension. However, there's one that just pushed our champion a lot harder, the young lady right here. If we could fix that one up front on her front toes, that one goes ahead and runs with that other one a lot closer, but a very good guilt to be reserved. Congratulations to her. Our chance Berkshire Hill today, exhibited by Gavin Young. The trophy is sponsored by the Rick Brown family. The reserve champion, champion Berk Hill, was exhibited by Madison Douglas. We need class four, Durock Hilton, the makeup arena, class four. Chester Gilts out here and uh, both are very very nice pigs and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and elect to start off with the young lady in the pink shirt uh, front two-thirds of this one skeleton we really dig I really like that one quite a bit um, one that's super dense through her forearm one that's extremely bold through her center body one that has a ton of shape up high and still gives you a good look from the side when you step in behind her though she calls for some concern she has a lot of swelling in that back right hawk and it hinders their ability to move about the ring. But from the hawk up, and the rest of that pig is very, very good and very elite, I would say. So that guild goes ahead and wins this class. The guild in second, very sound, functional, complete, and very balanced. Like a good things about this guild, uh, she's square from behind than our champion. However, in terms of having those extras and that extra punch, we just kind of lack there. But one that's very sound, complete, and functional to go ahead and be reserved. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Our champion Chester Ward Gill is exhibited by the Cindy Brown, which book is sponsored in memory of Josh Baxter by the Zen family, and our reserve champion is Olivia Jones. We need class five Dura Gill to the makeup arena, class five.
Well, an extremely, extremely nice class of Duroc gilts all the way through. All of them have uh, some sort of quality that's uh, really good about them. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and elect to start off with the young ladies gilt right in the center of the ring. One that's extremely balanced and totals and complete. One that's extremely fresh in the top side of her skeleton. Comes at you bold. She's really bold out of the back side of her forerib. Has a ton of brood sow power there. Uh, extremely, extremely square coming and going. Uh, like that one, a really, really good deal uh, to start off the class. Discussion here between two and three. Uh, like the young man over there and I like this one here. One's a little bit fresher than the other. Uh, one wrinkles in her ham loin where the other one's better there. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and elect to go ahead and use this young man here in second. Just from a build and design so, or from the side, we really, really like that gilt very shapely through the top side of her skeleton. However, we need to fix that hit one's hem loin as she wrinkles there but, and pinches there. But a very, very good gilt in her own right. Now the brood sow is right here in three. One that's extremely bold, ex at coming and going, extremely bold there in her forerib. Tons of sow power here. Uh, however, we just need to freshen this one up at the top side of her skeleton. And I just wish that she had a little bit more density and bone through her forearm in order to match what she ha does have up high. But a very, very good quality gilt to be there in three. Died and uh, about a week ago, I bet this guilt was an absolute hammer. Uh, just need to freshen this one up through the top side of her skeleton, make her a little bit more shapely. But however, one that's extremely tall fronted, good, good moving, very sound, and very extended through her front end. Like that guilt a lot. Just needs more coming at you and going away. The guilt coming out here in five, we really like a lot of things about her. Extremely, extremely dense in her forearm and her bone. I uh, like a lot of things about this one. Extremely bold through her center body. Uh, I would just like to make her, her a little bit taller fronted. Maybe go ahead and tie her head a little bit higher into the front side of her blade. But a very, very good guilt to go ahead and be this far down the line in a very tough class. Guild in six, this was the problem child for me, one that I really liked a whole lot in terms of uh, her density and bone and feature and stoutness, one that's just extremely, extremely stout, extremely rugged, however, I'd like to smooth her up and make her a little bit more prettier as to be a show guild in this class. Uh, the guild coming out here, really like her length and extension, does work a good amount of feature, however, she rolls out in her forerib, or, or rolls out in her elbow, excuse me, as she walks away from me, but a very, very good guild in her own right to be this far down in class. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Class winner and uh, to start off the class and the young man right over here uh, closest to me is going to go ahead and win this class. Really like a lot of things about that guild. It's super long, extended, uh, good fronted type of female that's extremely sound and balanced. Yet still has enough shape and dimension through the top side of her skeleton. Would maybe like to open her up in her knee as she closes in there a little bit. But a very, very good guilt in her own right to go ahead and win this class. Uh, the young man's guilt, we really like this one in terms of being extremely tall fronted and has a really good extension from her blade forward. However, this one just gets a little bit too straight in her knee uh, to go ahead and beat that one that uh, goes ahead and wins this class. But a very good guilt in her own right to be this far down the line. Congratulations to him. Second, Raiden Calvert. Is back there for us. Coming back. Is it just you? Yeah, she was really early. I need class seven, Hartford Hill, to the Bay Bend area, class seven. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I'm scared.
I mean, you have these two out here. I feel like they do fit together very well. Nickel more, more than the other in terms of power and just over just an overall power and mass, especially as she comes right at you. One that's extremely bold through her chest, has a 50 gallon drum set in her for a rib cage. Like a lot of things about her, young lady right here is going to have your champion Duroc. Congratulations to her. As we get out here, that second in that class, you know, we talk that one as being extremely shapely, and we really like that one a good deal. Just uh, one that pinches too much in her ham loin. And as she gets out here, it may be like to stout her up in her ankle, uh, just a nickel uh, to be really critical on her. But one that we really like in terms of her shape and extension, uh, really like that one. But this one that wins the second class, I feel like, just has a whole lot of good and a lot of areas. If we could just make that one stouter up front, coming right at you. That one uh, pushes our champion very, very hard. Congratulations to this uh, fir or first out of that second class. He'll be your reserve. Our champion Dura Rock Hill today is presented by Isabel Taylor. This is currently sponsored by the Doug and the Andy Miller family. Additionally, all the banners today have been uh, sponsored by the Akron Vet Clinic. Our reserve champion Gil belongs to Max Summers. We need class seven for her to the Vega Freeman, class seven. Very nice uh, guilt here in our Hampshire guilt show. And I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, young man. To go ahead and uh, be champion Hampshire Gilt. Really like this Gilt out of the backside of her blade in terms of being extremely shapely. She's bold enough in her fore rib and one that has a lot of extension from her blade forward and still reads relatively square as she goes away. Yes, she is a little bit looser hided there back by her loin and has some wrinkles there. But past that, that one is the best Gilt in this class. And she's going to go ahead and be your champion Hampshire Gilt. Congratulations to him. Now the young man here in second, not taking anything away from this guilt, one that's extremely pliable through her center body, one that is extremely, extremely sound and functional. However, we just need to stouten that one up at the ground, maybe make her a little bit more shapely up high, but one that in terms of being a breeding hog that you can go and put into production, one that you like a good deal, he'll, he'll be your reserve. Congratulations to those two exhibitors. Our champion, Hampshire Hill, exhibited by Jackson Elliott. 
responded to from Chris and Betsy Gardner family, and our reserve champion is Elizabeth Taylor Gardner. We need Class A, Herford Gills, into the holding area, Class A. Kind of part and piece together here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and end up on the young ladies guild right here with the pink shirt to go ahead and win this class. One that I think is the totals guild of the drive has some length, has some extension, but yet still couples that with being stout or bit or bold in her forerib and pliable enough through her center body. Need to give that one a drink and something to eat back there. I'd like to make her a little bit deeper in her flank, and I'd like to fix her right there behind her, behind her blade. She kind of wants to break there, but in terms of being the totals guilt.
built. One that I feel like it has the length and extension. One that's super fluid in her movement. Uh, when this young lady can just ease off her head and just that that, that won't go. Uh, one that's very, very sound and functional that we like a lot of things about. A uh, young man right here is going to be second. One that's extremely bold and shapely through the top side of her skeleton. However, in relative to what that one has up high, well, she needs to be stouter down low, especially on her rear foot and especially on her front ankle. However, we like that one a good deal in terms of from the side. She is cleaner throated than the guilt that's here in three. When the guilt that's here in three came out, I initially was going to tie into this one. Really good skin and hair, really good presentation. Like a lot of things about this one, she's just too jammed up up front for me. And she goes ahead and you couple that. Uh, with her couple of that, she's got a little bit, working a little bit too much condition there through her jowl. If she was just a little bit more extended from her blade forward, that's one that we like a really good deal. Now, I was really rooting for the young man out here in the Mohawk. I really love, love the hairdo, man. Uh, but as we go ahead and we get out here, uh, one that we really like from the side, very tall fronted, good looking. Love that one coming right at you. However, we just need more shape and more there in that one's center body. And as that one goes away and more muscle, however, one in terms of being the stoutest and the most powerful in terms of her leg and forearm and feature and the most extended up front, uh, that's one that we really like a good deal. Just need to make more of her in terms of her centered body to move her up. A uh, young man right here, really bold, stout, and powerful. However, this one is too upright in her blade, and she just kind of hinders her movement off of either end of her skeleton. One that has a nickel too much cover for me, and her hawk wants to work to the edge of her framework from behind. But good job to those exhibitors in that Hereford class. I'm going to go ahead and use the young man right here closest to me to start this class. Sometimes it's not about the size of the dog in the fight, but it's about the size of the fight and the dog. And although that one is the smaller one, smallest one out here, she's one that's extremely cool from the side, extremely cool from her blade forward, lots of extension. She's good in her chest. Uh, the one that's maybe a nickel more moderate in terms of her stature, but one for being a February 2nd has a lot of good things about for this Hereford breed and a very nice class winner. Uh, the young man right here close is to me is going to be second one that's very sound and production oriented just want to make this one a little bit stouter at the ground and have more mass up high but in terms of that in terms of being sound and functional that one's really really good the young man that's out here in third we like a lot of things about this gill in terms of viewing that one from the side one that's extremely long and loose made however just need more of this gill here and more mass and more power to get her up any higher but congratulations to those exhibitors
As we get out here, uh, we talk about both of these class winners in no particular order. We really like the Young Men's Guild, uh, one that's a little bit smaller in their stature and a little bit more moderate, but really cool design, uh, really stout and powerful in terms of her bone and feature. However, one that ankles in up front as she comes at you, and with her size, does that cause a little bit more problems there down the road? But one, we got one here that's as of weight, that's made it to where she needs to be, one that has a lot of good length and extension up front. Really would just like to fix this guilt behind her blade and fill her up in her center body, but a really, really good her for guilt and the young ladies with the pink shirt she's going to go ahead and be your champion congratulations to her yep congratulations she was she was champion Talk about that second place that came out in that class. You know, if that one was just a nickel longer fronted and uh, one that we really like, a really good deal, still has some bone and feature, like the stoutener up in her rear ankle, uh, but one that I still feel like in terms of being very production, production oriented is very good. It comes down to splitting hairs and personal preference. The young man's, uh, the youngest class is definitely really wicked to look at from the side. However, that one is just a little bit more moderate today. Uh, the young man over here that gets second in that biggest class, uh, one that's very sound and production oriented, is splitting hairs. I'd like to have one that has a little bit more of the extras. If we could fix her in an area or two, that one would go ahead and push our champion really hard. Congratulations to that young man he'll have your reserve our champion her for guilt today is exhibited by Allie Field the trophy sponsor by Bill and Sherry Ramsey family and our reserve champion her for guilt is exhibited by Marshall Casey Winning Class 11 spot deals, headed towards the Makeup Arena, Class 11 spot. Single entry land race guilt here, but uh, everybody ringside probably needs to look in on this one. Uh, this one is incredible, really, for her breed. One that's extremely shapely out of the backside of her shoulder, extremely dense in her bone work, but yet still couples that with being extremely pretty fronted, really good and extended, extremely square. Uh, that's one's pretty unique for a land race, and uh, I like that one a good deal. One that could have had a lot of competition out here, I think. Uh, and still would have done well. So a uh, very, very good guilt. Congratulations to that young lady. Nice pig. Our champion guilt is given by Annie Hart today. The trophy is sponsored in honor of Dave Lawson. Noah motoring through here and uh, really 
nice pull and guilt to start off the class and the young man right here with the blue shirt. Like that one, a really good deal from the side, uh, one that's extremely good fronted uh, and long necked. However, that one is a little bit longer bodied. She does get a little bit more sway backed, but however, she's the freshest in terms of her back shape out here, and she's the stoutest in terms of her bone and her feature. That's why she goes ahead and wins this class. As we get out here between second and third, it gets a little closer, but I feel like the young lady right here is a logical place to go into second. One that still looks like a show pig, one that's extremely stout through her forearm and ankle, really like a lot of things about her. She is wider chested than the guilt that comes in three. However, in terms of the, having the extras, in terms of feature and rear leg bone of a, a class winner, that's where that one goes into second, but one that's a very, very good guilt in her own right to go ahead and land in second. Young man's guilt that ends in third, extremely tall fronted and good looking. <laughs> Extremely tall fronted and good looking. However, just one that we need to have more of her coming right at you. She needs to be stouter and bolder through her chest and stouter and bolder going away uh, to get that one any higher. But congratulations to that young man. Our champion, Poland Pinegill, is the best. Our reserve, Macy Hinderlider, and third, Kayla Gardner. We need class 12, a build to the makeup area, class 12. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, uh, I never would have guessed that uh, the spot show would have been as deep as it has been. I mean, these things are uh, four or five deep in this class, and uh, you could go either way probably with the top three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and elect to use the young man right here. This one is an absolute freak of nature in terms of her bone, in terms of the way that that one comes at you, in terms of how stout that that one really is. I mean, that one is incredible, too, from the side. Love how tall-fronted she is when that young man gets her head up and gets her popped off. She really motors. However, I would like to freshen her up a little bit. She is starting to th show a little bit of wear on her chine, and she is going a little bit down on her front feet. And you may be like, well, Thomas, you've been pre preaching front feet all day and being good there. It doesn't affect the, the angle to her blade, and it doesn't affect the angle to her knee. That's why I'm okay with that one, and that's a 300-pound guild or so. That one goes ahead and goes ahead and wins the class. Young lady out here in second, we really like this guilt here. And when I say we, I talk about myself in third person. I guess, but one that's extremely fresh and very well presented, and one that gets along probably underneath another judge. However, in relation to our class winner, she needs to be a nickel stouter at the ground, but one that's super balanced, super complete, and super functional. We really like that one a lot that could go in two. And three really brings us a really big back, shapely type of a guilt. Need to extend her from her blade forward, and when she comes right at you, she ankles in a little bit more than the other two in front of her, but a very, very good guilt that's in her own right to go ahead and be in third. Like a lot, a lot of good things about her. And those first two were just a buzzsaw. I told this young man when I placed him that he just ran into an absolute buzzsaw of a class, and when he loaded this one up, I thought he... He probably thought he was going to do relatively well. One that's extremely good when you watch that one walk from the side. Good in her angle to her blade and her knee and the way that that one walks. Extremely dense in her forearm and skeleton. However, we just need more of this pig when we get on top of her skeleton. She needs to be bolder in her forerib and needs to have more mass and dimension up high. But a very good guilt in her own right uh, to go ahead and be in uh, fourth in this class. And there's a very, very deep class. Uh, the young man coming out when he coming out next. We really like this one from the side. Really tall fronted. Like a lot of things about her. She's dense in her skeleton. However, we just need to have this one a little bit more opened up in her middle and her center body in order to move her up any higher. Young man right here has a really nice tall front. It does a really good job of getting this one shown and making her move throughout the ring. However, we just need more muscle and dimension to get her up any higher in class. Congratulations to those spot exhibitors. Very good class of pigs. Placing her class 11 spot guilt. First, Drew Douglas. Second, Isabel Kale. Third, Gavin Young. And fourth, Jackson Elliott. We need class 13 camera guilt to the holding area, class 13. Also, class 14 camera kill. All camera kills are making a hang up area. Well, uh, 
top pair that offers a little bit of trade-offs. If you could just combine the two in here that I'm going to use for first and second in a couple areas, uh, you'd have yourself a pretty darn nice pig. From I'm going to go ahead and use this young man to go ahead and start off the class. We love that one from her hawk up and through the rest of her body. Like the good things about that one. However, when that one goes away from you, she's a little bit coarser hawked and she's a little bit puffy there. And as she goes away, she plants on the outer part of her toe and her hawk just goes to the edge of her framework and wants to bow ever so slightly. Now, if we, now the young man that's going to be in second, if we could combine this gilt with that one's front end, that one goes ahead and wins the class. However, with this one, she is square from behind than our uh, gilt that wins the class. She just needs to be more extended from her blade forward. She's more upright in her blade and her shoulder and the way she walks about the ring. And she's a little bit more choppy off of either end of her skeleton and her movement. If we could combine those two pigs together, we'd have one very, very nice gilt to go ahead and start off the class. Young lady right here is going to be three and really like this one in terms of being a nice shapely guild. And if you go ahead and project this one on a little bit, if she, th this one is the, younger, the youngest one in the class, I'm not for sure. But just the way she looks so immature out here, I'm going to say she is. One that's extremely good in her bone and feature. Really like a lot of things about her. Just wrinkles in her ham loin ever so slightly and runs out of gas in relation to the first two ahead of her. But a good guilt to be in third. The young man right, he, coming right out here and uh, Ford has a really nice production oriented type of a female that's extremely tall fronted and good in her bone and sound and functional. However, just need more of this one. Need to power her up off of both ends of her skeleton to move her up any higher. But a nice class of spot gilts. I really like how these gilts both fit together. Uh, we talk about one or the one out of that oldest class just needing to look, be a little bit fresher in her top side of her skeleton, but one that's extremely a creature and just in terms of her bone and feature and the way that she works off of either end of her skeleton. Yes, she does ankle in up front. However, everything else is so, so good there in that one's build. She's going to go ahead and be your champion spot gilt. Congratulations to her. Congratulations, young man. No doubt that things do get closer out here for reserve and we talk about the young ladies guild if we could just stouten that one up at the ground from behind and just give her a little bit more rear leg bone that one uh, maybe pushes our champion if not beats our champion and the young man we really like that one in terms of that one's front two thirds of his skeleton or of her skeleton one that's extremely dense and bold and pliable one that still looks like a show pig from the side and reads really good. However, the skin and hair and the presentation and the freshness of the young lady's guilt, and I'm going to go ahead and use her for reserve because that was a very, very tough class. Congratulations to her. Very good pig, young man.
Case Class 15, your Hills, Open Area Class 15, your Hills. Well, a good class of Tamworth gilts and a very logical place to start, I feel like, in the young lady right here with the red shirt on. Uh, one that's presented awfully, awfully well. One that we like a lot of things about. She's bold in her forerib. She has a lot of maternal power through her center body. One that's extremely bold and sprung in her center rib. Maybe like to extend her a little bit from her blade forward or tie that neck a little bit higher into the front side of her skeleton. But for being a Tamworth, that one's pretty stout at the ground. Maybe like to level her out of her hip a little bit, but a very good Tamworth in her own right to go ahead and win the class. Congratulations to that young lady. Oh, <laughs> you're good. A little bit more give and take as we get out here uh, for second in this class. I'm going to go ahead and opt to use the young lady right here closest to me. One that's just a little bit more shapely and a little bit more fresh in the top side of that one skeleton. Just need to stouten that one up at the ground to get that one up any higher. But a very good guilt in her own right to be there in second. Young man right here, we have a very nice production-oriented type of hog that's extremely, extremely uh, mobile, as you could say, and athletic in that one's skeleton. However, we need to go ahead and make that one a little bit more shapely through the top side of that one's skeleton in order to get her up any higher, but a very good guilt in her own right. Congratulations to that young man. Very good job. We need class 15, your guilt for the holding area, class 15. Well, if I get anything right all day, this young lady has a really nice pig to start off our single entry class and uh, one that we really like a, a whole lot really when she gets this one uh, popped off from the side. One that's uh, really, really athletic in terms of her skeleton, really fresh in terms of her shape through, up high. I uh, like a lot of things about that one. Congratulations to that young lady. Planting first in the class 14 Tamworth Hills, Kaylin Overmeyer. We need class 16 for off field, weighing 185 to 215 to the holding area, class 16. Well, a really nice pair of Tamworth gilts and uh, one that's just a little bit bolder and fresher up high than the other one, uh, but still very similar in their build and kind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, young man's right here that uh, the young lady drove in that first class. She's going to go ahead and be champion. Congratulations to that exhibitor. <laughs> As we get this second place out from that first class, uh, one that's extremely, extremely good in terms of being in terms of her athletic skeleton, one that uh, comes at you wide. However, she just needs to go ahead and be squared up in her knee. I do feel like this one is going to be second best. Congratulations to the, that exhibitor as well. Out of that second class, she'll have your reserve. <laughs> Our champion in Tamworth Hill today is driven by Kaylin Overmeyer and the trophy is sponsored by Jason C. Young. Our reserve champion in Tamworth Hill was also exhibited by Kaylin Kaylin Overmeyer. Class 16 for up Hill, make your way to the makeup arena. Class 16.
Well, a challenging class, really, to put together, and uh, if we, that young lady right there, just go ahead and just let that one just chill out for a little bit, uh, and we'll talk to you in a second here. But as we get out here, guys, a, a top trio of really good Yorkshire females that are pretty challenging to put together. I'm going to go ahead, and I believe that this young lady's guilt, I'm going to go ahead and start with her. She is just an absolute totals guilt in this class. There's not a whole lot wrong with that one. She's extremely balanced. She's very good looking from the side. I like that, or I like that a good deal. She works enough bone and feature through her forearm and, and rear foot that we really like a good deal. Maybe gets a little bit too throaty. We'd like to maybe open her up in her fore rib just a nickel. However, that's one that's a really, really good guilt and that's really sound and functional. A very nice place to start off the class with. I'm going to go ahead and use the young man right here in second. Really like this one in terms of how production oriented this one is. One that is a little bit bolder in her center body than that, or than the first place in this class. But as we get off from the side, she looks like she caves in a little bit, right? Or caves in a little bit, uh, excuse me in her fore rib compared to our class winner. However, when you start studying that one, she gets a little straighter out of her blade, but one that like her length and extension from the side, uh, just need to fix her in an area or two there to get her higher and maybe one that's a little bit staler as, and showing a little bit more age on her as she's wrinkling out in her ham loin. Now the absolute creature in this class comes in three and when this one walked in, she was either gonna be first or third and as the drive wore, wore on and I didn't have them out here for that long, this guilt just started to kind of break down off of either end of her skeleton. You couple that with her being a little bit more moderate and her going ahead and just needing to be blended a little better in that ham loin, but one that's extremely bold in her cage, extremely dense in terms of her muscle pattern, like a lot of good things about that one, uh, just need to go ahead and make her move better off of either end of her skeleton to get her up any higher. Young man coming out next, like this one a lot from the side, really, really good in terms of that one's length and extension, one that gets a little bit more upright in her blade, just needs that more of that one as you get right on top of her, have more width and dimension there through the top side of her skeleton, good pig in her own right to go ahead and be fourth. 
Young man that goes ahead and rounds out the class. We like this one, this one's length and extension. Just need more overall pounds and bulk in order to move this one up any higher. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Our champion of our Charmville today is presented by Madison Douglas, and the trophy is sponsored in memory of Dorothy L. Brown. Our reserve champion is Connor Summer. Third place is by Austin and fourth, Colton Baker. We need class 17 from Hill into the holding arena, class 17. Challenging class here to put together, but a really nice one to start off the class with the young lady here in the red shirt. Uh, like this one a lot in terms of this one's build and design. Uh, one that we, I've, as we go on and as this one kind of finishes out the summer, one that just needs a little bit more shape, but one that I think will get it. I like her build, like her design a lot. Not a whole lot of holes to talk about in that one. Good guilt to go ahead and start off the class with. Young lady right here, you're going to be second. Oh, congratulations. Young lady right here in the white top is going to be second. One that's just very sound and function, functional, functional, excuse me. One that is extremely bold in her, in her, in her forerib, pliable through her center body. Like a lot of things about her, just don't read her as fresh in the top side of her skeleton and as heavy, and as heavy boned as the gilt before her, but a very good gilt to go ahead and end the second. 
as we work on down the line here, that's where our problems kind of started. And the young man right here is going to go ahead and be third. Like this one a lot from that one's ham loin forward, uh, one that's extremely dense in that one's muscle pattern, extremely bold coming and going. However, going away, that one's just bowing her hocks a little bit too much for me today, and one that just needs to blend a little better in her ham loin to get that one up any higher. The young lady out here with the spotted appearing guilt, we go ahead and we like a lot of things about this one. Uh, one that is, is tall fronted, good looking from the side, extremely square from behind, level in her design than the ones on down the line. Uh, but that's where, that, where this one needs to be better. She just needs to be bolder in terms of her center body and have more spread and dimension up high, but a very good guilt there to land where she's at. As we get out here in fifth, I really like this gilt's muscle pattern. I like how sharp she is at the top side of her blade. She, she just gets a little bit lower fronted and a little bit straighter off of both ends of her skeleton in the way that she moves, but a very good gilt in her own right to, to go ahead and be there in fifth. Uh, the gilt right here, a very good production-oriented type of a pig. Just need more mass, more power here to get her up any higher. Congratulations to that young lady. <laughs> Class 18,
Well, a nice class to put together and a very good top pair. And uh, the one that's more my kind needs to be fixed in an area or two to get her up any higher. But I do feel like there's one that's better in those areas. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this young lady here to start the class with. Really nice gilt. One that's extremely sound, functional, really square from behind. Needs a little bit more bone and feature through her forearm uh, and foot there. But a very nice gilt that's good in her underline to go ahead and start off the class with. The Gilded 2 is kind of our problem child. This guilt probably though is more my kind in terms of seeing one off from the side. I love this one's density through her, skele or through her, her skeleton and through her forearm and foot. Uh, one though, as she goes away from you, she gets a little bit cowboy walking from behind and she, right there, we need to clean her up in her underline. Uh, but one, in terms of being extremely bold sprung, fresh on the top side of her skeleton and extremely and extended, like a lot of things about her, but just need to fix those two areas to get her up any higher, but a very good guilt in her own right. We can let three and four out here together and this pair, I mean, I feel like they're very close. Uh, I went ahead and elected to use the young ladies over the young man's. I just feel like that one's a little bit more pliable through her center portion of her body as she's a little bit deeper there in her flank and her forerib, uh, but a very good gilt that's extremely sound and functional, but closes in at you, and I just wish there was more of her in her center body. I like this young man's gilt from the build or from the side, and I had him as high as third at one point in this class. However, as the drive wears on, this is one that, or I had her as high as third in the class, excuse me. She's extremely shapely through the top side of her skeleton. She's extremely dense in her forearm and her feature from the side. And when this young man just eases off of her head and lets her kind of go and get out there, her head carriage is naturally higher to where she just kind of walks and everything blends together. However, this one just gets a little bit drier in terms of her center body. And we need to go ahead and freshen this one up in terms of her, uh, in terms of her muscle pattern through the top side of her skeleton, give her a little bit more cover there in her ham loin, but a very good guilt to go ahead and be down this far in class. Really like this young man's guilt right here in terms of being extremely shapely out of the back side of her shoulder. However, she's just a little bit lower fronted and wants to go ahead and work that hop to the edge of her framework from behind, but a very good guilt to go ahead and start or to be down the line here in class in fifth. As we get out here in six, and this young lady's blue gilt, she does a great job of showing this one and keeping it moving. However, uh, this one just needs to be stoutened up in her ankle, and we need to go ahead and bolden that one up in her center body and make her a little bit deeper bodied uh, to move her up any higher. Young lady's spot appearing gilt brings us a very nice gilt that's extremely sound and functional, just needs a little bit fresher muscle shape out of the back of her loin edge. This young lady here, very good production-oriented type of a hog, one that you can tell just really gets after it, Good, easy feeding. However, one that just needs to be bolder and have more muscle to move her up any higher.
This class, I'm going to go ahead and use the young man's predominantly white guilt to go ahead and win the class. Like a lot of things about this one, just need to square this one up from behind. But in terms of, if you look at that one's lines from the side, one that's extremely level in her design, really good in her overall pattern from the side. Like I said, just need to square her up from behind. Young man actually right here with the American cowboy boots, he's going to be second in this class. I really do like this guilt in all honesty in terms of, of this one's muscle pattern and design and build. One that's extremely bold through his, her forearm, one that has a big hind leg. However, we just need to make this one a little bit more pliable through her center body and freshen her up in terms of her skin and hair coat uh, to go ahead and move her up. But a very, very nice production-oriented guilt to go ahead and be th or second in this class. Young man right here brings one that's really well presented in terms of skin and hair. Like a lot of things about this one from the side, very well presented, very uh, dense in terms of her forearm. However, when we see this one in motion, she gets a little bit uh, lower in terms of her front end of her skeleton and one that she's uh, pushing a little bit of fluid or swelling there in her back right hawk, but a very, very good guilt in her own right to go ahead and be third. As Air Jordan comes out here in fourth, uh, <laughs> Honestly, come into this young lady and give her a round of applause for sticking to that. That was actually really, really nice and how she did that. Uh, a pig that's clearly super athletic in terms of being able to scale a uh, fence, you know, the twice the size that he is. But uh, just need to go ahead and stouten this one up at the ground to move her up in, any higher. But congratulations to that young lady. I'm trying, trying to help you out over here. Uh, the Hereford appearing hog that comes out here uh, next, uh, one that we like a lot in terms of being extremely bold sprung through her center body, gets a little bit more cowboy walking as she goes away from me, one that we need to take her and peel her back in terms of her condition a little bit, but extremely deep, pliable, good center body to her, she goes ahead and is there. Uh, very good, nice production oriented type of a hog here uh, that has some pounds on her, however, just need more muscle and mass to move her up any higher. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Class 18, first, Marshall Bainey, second, Kent Linderweiner, third, Kay Sacco, and fourth, Cora Albert. We need Class 19 cross field from the makeup arena. Now our drivers from Champ and Lightweight cross field from Class 16, Kayla Nogermeyer.
trio of crossbred gilts out here in this lightweight division. Let's give these exhibitors a round of applause. Very, very good here. As we go ahead and we start breaking these things down, I do think that it's a two-horse race, and it becomes between uh, the girls is out here for grand and reserve, or, or for champion, excuse me. Uh, when we start breaking them down, and uh, you know, we talk to young lady in no particular order, the young lady's over there, one that I think has a ton of future, one that's extremely good out through her hip and hind leg. Love that one's build and design. However, does that one have enough in terms of mass and dimension right now for a county fair? That's where you got a question yourself at a jackpot level uh, things might work out a little differently but I really really like that guilt a really good deal uh, the young lady right here brings one that's extremely fresh back shapely uh, like a lot of things about her just needs to be a little bit stouter and through her forearm and ankle there but I think that that one is the overall complete one in terms of right now to, be, to use for today she'll be your champion lightweight congratulations to her Like we talked in that class, the one that got second was more my kind. Need to fix her up in an area or two. You know, we got to take or suck that flank out, and we need to make that one square from behind. However, if if thing if this one just feeds right and everything keeps going the way it does and trending up, I like this young lady in the red here to go ahead and be second. Her reserves. Congratulations to her.
Well, the glass that uh, the quality is very good here, you know, four deep, but uh, top three present their challenges, you know, in terms of uh, putting them together in no particular order. Uh, the young lady right here in front of me, I love this thing from the side. This thing is absolutely killer. One that's extremely stout, dense in her bone and forearm and feature. One that I love her from her blade forward. You get in behind this one, she's got to be square. Uh, but one that has a big, fresh back in her, but she's just got to be square from behind. Young lady right here, like a lot of things about this one from the side, and uh, when you get back behind her, she's extremely square. But does that one have enough coming right at you? Uh, and then you got the young lady right here, um, or right here that's in the center of the ring, you know, with the chromed up gilt. Really like a lot of good things about that one. However, that one's a little bit straighter in her blade and a little bit more moderate in her feature. But that one's got the biggest, freshest back. That one's the most pliable through her center body. And I believe that one has the most totals in terms of combining bulk and actual build and that I'm going to go ahead and rather, I would rather use one that's a little bit straighter out of her front end uh, that combines those two things. But yes, she still gets along out, along out the ring well young lady on the far side is going to have your class winner congratulations to her yep just in terms of type and kind that guild either goes first or third and uh, we start talking these guilds here next I mean we got one that has the extras we got one that you know comes at you wider but needs to be square going away we got one that comes at you square or that goes away square that needs to come at you wider however there's just one that I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable with using in terms of the way I've been going all day long and that's the young lady right here uh, I we got to make our livestock square from behind and that's one thing that I I'm just not willing to really give up on. But if we change that one, in term, the one that's in third, in terms of her hawk shape, oh boy, that one's really, really good and built for speed and maybe gets up to first in this class. And it'd uh, be interesting to kind of see where that one uh, lands, you know. But uh, if that one goes on to Indy, I would definitely recommend a foot trimming or something uh, because that one is definitely very square backed, very dense boned, like a lot, a lot of things about that one. Uh, just runs, I just need to change it from behind in order to get her up any higher. Young lady right here, I was really rooting for you. If you really get to study in this guilt, one that doesn't have a whole lot wrong with her other than you'd like to have her be square out of the back of her blade in terms of her shape. One that's extremely dense in terms of her forearm, very tall fronted, extremely good looking guilt from the side that's extremely square and comes at you wide in her chest. However, in relation to those t first three, we just need to make her square right there out of the top of her blade and put her down in her chine and give her a little bit more fluff you give this one a little bit more fluff and a couple more weeks to feed, that one's really, really good. Young man's guilt that's walking out the ring. We really like a lot of things about that one. Sound, functional, practical in her center body. Very, very good. Just a little bit too much bark there today to get her up any higher. Young man that comes out next, very similar to the one in front of him. However, we just need to fix this one from behind and stout that one up at the ground. Very good guilt though in her own right. And then the young lady's guilt that comes out here next, uh, one that we just need to freshen her up in terms of her shape up high, but one that's very sound and functional and practical in her skeleton. Congratulations to those exhibitors, especially that top four in that class I thought were very good. Let's give them a round of applause.
A really nice class of uh, crossbred gilts out here, and a definitely a logical place to start, I think, is the young ladies. Build, balance, design, and, and uh, build and balance and design that fits that one to a T. One that's fresh enough in terms of her back shape, still gets a lot out in the ring uh, super well. She's not going to overwhelm you in any certain area. However, if you start studying that, that one long enough, you realize that there's really not a hole, a glaring hole major in that one to go ahead and. Uh, that's why she goes ahead and wins this class. Uh, young man right here, really well presented. Like a lot of the good things about this guilt. Extremely fresh in terms of her back shape. Just one that I wish we had a little bit more muscle in terms of the seat of her pants and down into her twist. Uh, one, though, that comes at you bold, leaves you square. Just need to go ahead and make her just have a little bit more muscle there in her twist and in her lower section of her ham. But a very good guilt to go ahead and be in second.
Gilt comes out in third. Initially, I didn't get a really good read on this one, but one that's extremely stout and dense in terms of her overall feature, like a lot of things about her. However, as we start breaking this one down, she's getting a little bit staler in her overall appearance. They tried to do a, a, a clip job to try to make her appear that she's got a bigger back than what she does. However, she's still a very big back animal at one time, and she's still one that's extremely stout in her bone, but just one that's starting to get a little bit staler, a little bit older about her head. That's why she goes ahead and is third. Good job, young man. Good job. In terms of her front two thirds, and uh, when we got and as the drive wore on, I kind of wanted to use her, and I thought about going back and on what I said. However, I'm going to stay true to what I said. This one just needs to be better from behind, and you couple that with her being a little bit staler and older looking through her skull. But that one is a very dense skeleton, heavy muscle type of a gilt that still gets around the ring relatively easy. She just needs to be square from behind, guys. And uh, if you go ahead and if you call me for single trait in one, I guess that's okay, but uh, you just got to be better there for me, and uh, that guilt there just needs to be better there, but a very good uh, guilt, though, and her front two-thirds of her skeleton. Gilt coming out here next. We like a lot of good things about sound, practical, lot, really, really nice. However, when it came down to just having the overall extras, just didn't uh, question or just questioned if she had as much as the gilt in front of her. However, this gilt right here from behind, she is a little bit lower in her rear pasture, and consequently, she wants to do a little bit more cowboy walking from behind as she gets outside of herself. There, you fix her there. She definitely moves up in the class. Berkshire appearing gilt here coming out next. Really like this one in terms of her build from the side. However, this one's skull just gets a little bit too jammed up in her skull, a little bit more jammed up in her front end, and she just needs a little bit more rear leg bone. However, you start breaking this one down, one that's extremely bold in her forerib, really fresh in terms of her back shape, like a lot of things about her, just need to make her more extended there through her front end and stouter from behind to move her up any higher. Young man's predominantly black gilt. Just a really nice sound, functional, practical type of a pig. Need to open her up in her chest and need to make her just come with more spread and dimension off of both ends. Very good gilt, though. Let's give them a round of applause. fresh back hogs that still have some look through their front end. However, I do feel like there is one that does it better, even though I criticized her a lot. That first class was very, very tough and very competitive. That young lady there is going to go ahead and win this uh, heavyweight crossbred guilt drive. Congratulations to her. We got one out and, uh, the young lady with the red bow there. We talked about her in class, you know. That one just needed to have a little bit more chest, and if that one has more chest, then we're rolling and we're really getting after it. Um, but, you know, we talked about that one from the side. That one's absolutely killer and lights out. Uh, we like a lot of things about her. She's sound. She's super square and super functional. Yes, I do like the, this young lady out of the second class in terms of how heavy that one's uh, skeleton is and how much mass that that one's carrying through the top side of her skeleton. I just prefer the build and the overall design of the guild that comes before her or in that first class to be that was second. She'll be your reserve. Congratulations to her. Congratulations. Very good guild.
our champion has Wayne Gill today, and he's entered by Edgewell Gale, and the third is responsible by Cromwell Farms, and our reserve champion is given by Rado Thompson. Now for our champion crossbred bill drive, we have from the lightweight class, Madison Douglas. And our heavyweight class, Isabel Scales. Well, as we get on out here today, I mean, these are hogs that are ready to roll today. Hogs that are extremely fresh in terms of their center body, uh, really, really uh, fresh in terms of, or really bold in their center body, really fresh in terms of their muscle shape. I like a lot of things about both of them, to be quite honest, though. There's one that just trips my trigger a little bit more, and that's the young lady's heavyweight. She'll go ahead and be your champion. Congratulations to her. Well, like we talk, you know, there's one that's ready today, and then there's definitely one that can be a little fresher, but you have one that's just a chest shot away in terms of being an elite one, and uh, I'm one that I really like that reserve heavy in terms of her build and design and her extra forearm she brings. She's a taller fronted, the bigger scaled type of a hog, and that's what I like, and so she's going to be second best. Congratulations to her. Congratulations. Our champion in Concert Bill today is exhibited by Isabel Shale, and the trophy is sponsored by Steve King. The reserve champion from Skill is exhibited by Lila Swanson. Again, we'd like to have reminded that all of our banners today have been sponsored by the Akron Veterinarian Clinic. We need class 22 cross bread pairs into the holding area, class 22 cross pairs. Barra's uh, here, kind of like doing a truckload. Uh, kind of uh, very similar, you know, or got a lot of experience with this in terms of, you know, my commercial background and things of that nature. But uh, when you go ahead and you study these barrows, they fit together very good. I mean, they're very similar in their types and kinds. They're very similar in terms of their weight pattern. Uh, ones that'll be uh, very good in terms of their retail product. They hang at the rail. A very good set of or pair of barrows here in the purebred division. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations, guys. Good job. Our champion in the red pair with the Berkshire pair is exhibited by Braden Tauber. And the sponsoring of the trophy is Jerry Sign has 13 solutions.
All right, so something that's a little different here. I just kind of wanted them to parade everything. And uh, as 
so that way everybody could see them here. And I'll kind of talk about what I saw and differences, you know, as we go on down the line here. I do feel like that there is a logical place to start, and that's going to be that pair over there. We can go ahead and let them out. Hogs that have made market weight, but yet still of show quality. I mean, pigs that look like show bears, but yet still have enough product and retail design, or, and they'll have enough retail product at the rail. Ones that are built really well. The congratulations to those girls on bringing a nice pair. Let's give them a round of applause. As we go and we get out here, things do get a little closer. However, I'm going to opt to use the young ladies right here out of pin four to go ahead and to go ahead and win this class, or not to win this class, to be second, excuse me. Hogs that still look like they are very fresh back, have a good shape, really like a lot of things about them, uh, just uh, maybe not as stout in terms of our bone work as the pair that wins, but a very good pair in their own right. Let's give them a round of applause. Very nice pair to bring out. These young men are going to be third uh, out here, and they have a really nice pair, a couple shapely backed bears that, uh, that are right there at the market weight. Really, really good. Just don't read them in terms of being as high a cut ability as the hogs in front of them, but hogs that have some shape and some muscle and yet still read good in their pattern and design, uh, they're going to go ahead and be third in this pair. Congratulations to them. I feel like we got a little bit closer here between uh, yeah, fourth and fifth, but I'm going to go ahead and elect to use this young lady's pair just in terms of being market hogs and market ready. These are hogs that are closer to market weight, that more desirable market weight. Yes, they do need to be a little bit fresher in terms of their appearance and have hogs that are heavier muscled, but in terms of being and reaching that weight, these are hogs that are there. They're ready to go to market today, and you're not going to get docked in terms of what they weigh. Congratulations to them. I, oh, are you in the litter class too? Yes. If you got the two behind you, just bring that one back over. Oh. He had a different idea. Yep. <laughs> lady here uh, with the purple shirt we like this pair a good deal just hogs that are a little bit too under the market weight or the ideal market weight uh, worry about them going to the rail in terms of her getting docked on her pay just because they're hogs that aren't there on their market weight but they are very nice freshly backed uh, pigs that have some muscle and that are really good in terms of their overall bone work and design just need a little bit more weight on them uh, to get them up any higher
Is that it? Okay. Okay. So I wanted to get all the kids recognition, and I could have judged them back in the pens in terms of their litters. So all, all these pigs are out of the same litter um, in this in each of these pens, and I wanted to give have them come out here, give their recognition, uh, because it's a lot of work, you know. It, some of these kids raised them, some of these kids went out and bought them, um, but you know, at the same time, this is something that I feel like is pretty unique and pretty just true to 4-H, you know. And we're ra ideally, we are raising hogs for market. We are raising hogs to feed the world. So this is something that I do think is really really cool. The champion uh, litter here is going to be these young ladies right here. I like the I like those a pretty good deal and when they brought out that reserve champion crossbred guilt and then they brought out her litter mate sister that was third in the same class as that one uh, I really liked those a good deal out in there and so when you th they went ahead and bring th brought them back and a uh, litter that's very uniform a litter that's very good hogs have Hogs are dense in terms of their overall skeleton and build. Uh, like that a, a lot about them. Uh, let's go ahead and let's give them a round of applause for your champion litter. As we get out here for reserve, I, I go ahead, going to go ahead and use the young men out here next. Uh, hogs that are very pliable in their center body, sound, functional. They've made it all, made it to that market weight. Uh, hogs that are really good and shapely. I uh, like a lot of things about these barras and gilts alike out here. Uh, so a uh, very good pair there. So Or litter, I should say. So let's give them a round of applause. Hey, thank you, bud. Yep. Thank you. Good job. I sorry, I didn't mean to thank you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> As we get on out here, you know, in terms of litter and or seeing litters and what I really like to see in terms of just being uniform and habits of show pig look, yes, these aren't market weight, but yeah, they're still really good. I'm going to take, go ahead and use these guys in third. Very nice uh, pigs is there. And then these guys here, we just need some overall shape and some muscle, but all the hogs made market weight. Congratulations to them. A uh, very, very nice uh show in terms of uh, doing a litter show. Congratulations. So same thing? Or, or are we embarrassed? We haven't called any yet, but so if you need a bathroom break or oh. anything, we're ready to start. Our placing for our crossbred litter today. First place is Grand Canton Litter, exhibited by Lila Boston, and the service is sponsored by Ray and Dean Megan Weiner. The reserve is Club Gardner. 
Mare is an easy one to start off the class with in the young man's right in front of me here in the center of the ring with the Paisley shirt. Uh, one that puts it all together in his balance and build, yet still has enough meat animal shape there out of the backside of his blade. Sure, you'd like to make him a little bit more, have a little bit more from behind, but in terms of being one that's balanced and complete, he's a really, really good one to go ahead and start off the class. Next, we're going to use the young man right here uh, going across the ring there. Uh, that one is a very nice, sound, practical, functional type of Berkshire Barra. He's one that's uh, got the pounds heavy hog, that's big ended, has a big fresh back on him. Like a lot of things about that one. Young lady going out the ring, uh, one that gets a little bit too barky as we go ahead and, and, and describe that one. Uh, one that needs to go, or one that's extremely shapely though, out of the backside of his skeleton. One that's a little bit more moderate in his build. Just one that needs to have the cover peeled off of him to move up any higher. Young man that comes out here and forth. Really like how dense this one is through his center body. We really like how stout he is at the ground. However, we just need to freshen him up right there up high. Freshen him in his chine to get him up any higher. You got to feel for the young man at five because if this one didn't have a bum wheel, he'd be up a couple places in this class. To be quite honestly, that is a tall front and good looking hog, but he can't carry himself right out here today because he does have some swelling in his hock and he's laboring off of his back end. But you just got to feel for him because that's a very good Berkshire Bear in his own right. Young man here brings a really big back one, practical feed, and a really good pig in his own right. Just need to freshen him up and give him a more sharper shape through the top side of his skeleton. Nice shapely Berkshire Bear here. Just need to be a little bit more pliable through our center body, and one that you just like to square up from behind as he goes away. Good class of Berkshires. your class winner a uh, really nice hog just very balanced and complete really proportionate and uh, how that guy comes together he feeds out of his backside of his blade with enough shape yes I'd like to make him a little fresher there but in terms of balance of bulk and build that one's got it he goes ahead and wins this class uh, the young man right here in the teal shirts going to go ahead and be second like a lot of things about that one very sound very functional I love the enthusiasm that this young man brings to the show ring with the fist bump I appreciate that um, but very sound very smooth in his build very practical type of feeding bear really shapely just needs a little bit more uh, in his ham as he goes away from you but a very good bear in his own right that's very practical young lady brings a nice shapely bear up here congratulations man 
young lady brings a nice shapely bear here that goes ahead and goes in third just needs to be better in that one's lines and design he's a little tighter in the spine roaches his top a little lower fronted but a very good bear in his own right young lady right here like like this one's fresh shape out of the back side of his skeleton we need to go ahead and clean this one up in terms of his skin and hair and he's working some swelling there and his hawks are and his hawks just are uh, a little bow-legged there, but a very good pig to go ahead and be uh, fourth in this class. Congratulations.
Hats of Duroc Bear is here to kind of put together. And I feel like, you know, we got two very good representatives up here on the top end of our class. You know, I'm going to say this class is about five deep, you know, in terms of uh, whatever way you would like to go and, uh, you know, judge him ringside. However, there's just one that I believe just fits me today. You know, he's, he's just practical. He's square. He's got enough meat animal shape out of the backside of his skeleton. But yet still really super square. It's a really stout mug on him. I like him a good deal. Young ladies, lighter colored bear is going to have your class winner. I really like that one. Yeah, sure, we'd like to give that one just a notch sharper shape up high. But you know, one that's just really good in terms of spread, dimension, and build, and bulk, and balance, I like him a good deal. I wish this young lady's guilt would just blend a little better. I really like this one from the side when she gets this one's head up and gets him, or and gets this one's head up and get him drove. However, this one's just got too much fill for me, and it almost throws him off in terms of his balance. Because he, you see, he's not the stoutest bone hog in the class, but if you go ahead and you start uh, nitpicking him and breaking him down he does have a very nice fresh back in him he's got he's very extended from his blade forward I just question how genuine he really is in terms of his muscle shape out of the back side of his blade and I'd like for him to blend a little better in his ham loin but a very good hog to be in second lady here in third I mean I originally you know I had this one a little bit further down the line but as the drive were on he just kind of was one that was always there he kind of just always kept growing on me he's very dense in his bone work he's one that's very stout up high in terms of his shape and very shapely out through his loin needs to be squared up from behind and gets choppy off of both ends of his skeleton but a very good practical bear to go ahead and be there Bear and forth, if we could go ahead and strip some cover off of this guy, we'd be in business. Uh, one that's a little bit too fleshy for today. Really like this one, a really good deal. And uh, for this one's build and design, very extended, really good and square. Just need to take some flesh off of him. Really, really, really like this guy's shape and dimension. And uh, honestly, this guy's forearm is probably the biggest forearm in the class. However, he just gets drier in his center body. He gets drier in his forerib. But if this hog was, were to be a little bit fuller today, that one would be really would go up a little ways. He's really, really nice. Young lady right here, we got a nice square sound, pra or, or nice square bear. This needs to be sounder off a viler end of his skeleton. Gets a little choppy, but a very good hog in his own right. Young man brings one out here that's extremely pliable through his center body. And that's just a little bit weaker in his top line. He's a little bit lighter muscled, a little bit lighter on bones, but a very good bear in terms of his design and silhouette from the side and on his front end. You got to like that about him. Young man here that rounds out the class brings the pounds heavy hog that's extremely stout boned. However, just one that's a little bit plainer in his overall shape. That's why he's on down the line. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Okay. Well, no secret that this one, I didn't want to wear him out any more than I had to, but this is a smoking good Hampshire bear that goes ahead and starts this thing off. 
one that's extremely tall fronted and really good in design. Feeds out of his backside of his blade with a really good amount of meat animal shape. Still reads very square and genuine from behind. Very balanced. I like that hog a really good deal uh, to go ahead and start off this Hampshire drive with. Young man in second, if we could just make this one a little bit looser it, off of either end of his skeleton, we'd be in business. It, one that's extremely stout boned, one that has a lot of meat animal shape out of the backside of his blade. However, we just need to strip him off in terms of a little bit of extra cover, but one that we really like a great deal in terms of having that extra stoutness and power to go ahead and be in second. Young man in third brings a practical sound one that uh, feeds out, that has a lot of really sh fresh shape out of the back side of his blade. Just need to go ahead and open this guy up off of either end of his skeleton and make him a little bit stouter at the ground. Very good bear there to be in third. Bear coming out in fourth. Just needs some more shape uh, from, just needs some more shape and power throughout this whole skeleton, but one for that's uh, build and design and that's a practical, easy feeding bear uh, that goes ahead and get, rounds out the class. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
challenging class to put together, and I do feel like we start off with a rather unique one up here in the front end, and the young man's bear that's out here in the ring. Uh, that's a really dense forearm, and one that's got a really good look through his front end. Yeah, I'd like to sharpen him up out of the backside of his blade, and I'd like to give him more in the seat of his pants as he goes away from me in terms of his lower ham. But you go ahead and you study that guy's build and design. He's the one that combines the combination of bulk and build out here, and that young man brings a nice Hereford bear there in his front two thirds of his skeleton to go ahead and start off the class with. Young lady, or the young man right here in the uh, Hawaiian shirt is going to go ahead and be second. Uh, really like that one in terms of how that one feeds out of the backside of his blade in terms of his meat animal shape. Gives you a nice lot, or a lot of shape from behind, but yet still keeps it square. I'd like to trim him up, though, in his front end. If we could trim that one up in his front end uh, with, combined with that guy's stoutness at the, or with that guy's bone at the bottom, he'd be all right. But we just got to kind of trim him up and take some bark off of him to get him up any higher. Young lady brings a really nice one here uh, really assembled good in the front two-thirds of that guy's skeleton however we just need to have him blend in his ham loin and as he's a little bit more rigid in his ham loin hookup he wants to get a little bit more rigid for behind and the way he moves out of his hip but a very good bear there to be um, where that one's at out here in fourth one that's very comparable to our class winner from the side, like this one in terms of how tall fronted he is. However, I didn't read this one as genuine in terms of his blade. He wants to come at you a little narrower. He gets a little flatter and plainer in his overall muscle shape, but a very good bear there to go ahead and be or fourth. Bear coming out in fifth. Like a lot of good things about this bear in, in terms of from the side. One that has some length and extension. One that I just want to have him have a more aggressive shape out of the backside of his blade. Couple that with him getting a little bow-legged as he goes away from you, but a very good bear in his own right. Bear in six, like a lot of things about, uh, one that has a meat animal shape out of the backside of his blade. He's too straight off of either end of his skeleton to get him up any higher. Young lady that rounds out the class brings a sound, practical, productive oriented type of hog. He's just too short bodied. Uh, I'd like to lengthen him and extend him uh, and just kind of take some of that cover off of him, but a good bear in his own right to be down the line. Congratulations to those exhibitors. lady right here is going to have your champion land race uh, one that's I think just really good really balanced and one that has a lot of shape up through the top side of his skeleton love him coming and going he reads super square congratulations to yet long yet yeah, that excuse me young lady on bringing a very fresh land race barrow I'm just gonna go in the head and off with the pounds heavy hog here in this class a young man right here is going to be second one that I think is the bear is a little bit stouter through his forearm and feature and just one that needs to be peeled back in terms of his cover but a really good bear there in his own right young lady or the young man excuse me over there brings one that's extremely extremely good in terms of his meat animal shape out of the back side of his blade sorry buddy the man bun threw me for a second but you're good uh, uh, out of the back side of his blade but if you go ahead and you study that one just a nice sound practical easy feeding bear just need more of him to get up any higher in this class congratulations to that young man Whew. 
Start this class off 
yeah, this bear uh, does need to be peeled back in terms of his condition a little bit. However, that's really being nitpicky on a nice Poland bear, uh, one that he's, I just read him more genuine out of the backside of his blade than the really sleek uh, one from the side that comes in second. The one that comes in second, I feel like we just need to make him more genuine out of the top side of his skeleton and give that one a little bit more meat animal shape. But I will say, I'm not too keen... I will say, and you figure or how to phrase this, a better way is, is if you're going to bring me one that's got powder full on their legs, guys, for those ones fitting back in the barn, please make sure it blends. Please make sure it looks right because both of these bears do have it on their legs and I would let, really like it to not take away from the animal. So if it's going to take away from the animal, please just rinse it off and don't or come back when you see me with it rinsed off. But really good bears in their own right to go ahead and be there. Right here, the bear coming out in three is a really nice, sound, pr practical type of hog. Uh, really like a lot of things about him. Just need to make him a little bit more elevated through the, his front end to get him up any higher. But one that's in terms of just being a nice meat animal, he goes ahead and fits logically in three. Uh, the one and four, we really like this one in terms of being extremely shapely out of the backside of his blade, extremely shapely out through his ham, like that about him. Just need to go ahead and stouten this guy up at the ground and make him more genuine coming at you, but a very good bear in his own right that lands in four. Bear that comes out in five. I like this bear from the side. However, we, he, when you get on top of this guy, he, you just need more of him. I'd like to see more spread and dimension. I'd like to make him bolder in his cage to facilitate more meat animal shape up high, but a very good bear in terms of his build and design to go ahead and go next. Bear coming out in the last. Uh, he's one that's just sound, functional, easy feeding. He gets around the ring super well. Just go, need to go ahead and make that one more aggressive in his shape to move him up any higher. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
good class of spot bearers, and I'm going to elect to start off with the young man and the Paisley over here on the far edge of the ring. Uh, as this one takes the drive, I mean, you want to talk about one that's super fresh out of the top side of his shoulder as he works back through his loin, uh, super level out of his hip. And honestly, that's probably where the pair of sorts as the bear that comes in second. I like a lot of things about in terms of how shapely he is, but where this pair of sorts is he pinches in his hand loin. And as this guy takes a drive, he kind of wants to dunk or duck in his pins ever so slightly as he goes throughout the ring. And I just would like to make him a little bit more comfortable as he goes away. But a really nice shapely bear to go ahead and be in second. That's super sound and or that's super sound through his front end of his skeleton. And really like the way he reaches and flexes and drives off that front end. Young lady right here. Very good production oriented type of a hog. Very, a lot of meat animal shape out of the backside of that one's blade. Super squared coming and going. Uh, just need to have that one be a little bit more extended through from his blade forward to get that one up any higher. Young man that comes out here in fourth, uh, I thought did so just because, uh, you know, as we started nitpicking these hogs and breaking them down. Yes, this young man's hog needs more bone. However, he is more, this belt hog is more aggressive in his shape out of the backside of his blade through his loin, and he's just square and more genuine coming and going on the drive. Like a lot of good things about this young lady right here uh, as she gets this bear driven uh, in terms of this guy's bone work and feature and design. However, we just need to make this guy come with more mass, more power uh, when you get on top of him to get him up any higher. Nice, powerful bear that comes out in here uh, in and sixth however he's one that just gets too stale in terms of his overall composition and we need to go ahead and uh, trim that one back in terms of his overall uh, makeup and design uh, young lady right here comes out with one that uh, just gets a little bit too straight up front didn't read that one quite as genuine through that one's forerib a very nice hog there though to be down the line young man right here we just need more aggressive meat animal shape I like a lot of things about this hog in terms of his bone and feature however when you get on top of him he's too flat in his overall composition to get him up any higher congratulations to those exhibitors <laughs> first. 
Uh, out here in this Tamworth Barrett Drive, I'm going to go ahead and start off the young, with the young lady in the red shirt. Uh, in terms of being the totals hog that I feel like puts it all together, I feel like this one is the one that does that the best. Yes, he does need to be taller fronted, but if you go ahead and you combine that, he's the one that's got the most product from behind. He's the, got the most shape out of the top side of his skeleton, and he is the stoutest bone hog in this class. He's the most genuine through his chest. That's why that one goes ahead and lands in uh, first. Young man in second here, definitely... Er, Young man in second compliments our class winner in terms of uh, being the ty same type and kind. However, this one, I would like to make him a nickel stouter at the ground. And as he goes away from me, he needs to come with a little bit more product through his lower ham. But past that, that's a very good bear to be in second. At one, at one point in time, I bet this bear in third was really cool to look at. Uh, one that's super long from the side. One that has stout and really good in his design. I like him a great deal. Uh, comes at you um, extremely open. Just too stale and his overall muscle shape today uh, and his overall makeup but a very nice Tamworth Barra to go ahead and be in third. Young man that comes in fourth, uh, one that's got a super high colorability hog out here. We just need to go ahead and make this guy relax in his spine a little bit in order to move him any higher. Overall, good class of uh, Tamworth Barras. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Sponsored by Heiser Barnes, PCR. Second and third is Reacting, I'm bringing him out. I'm just going to kind of talk him as I see him out here. I feel like there's a very nice logical place to start in the young lady on the far side of the ring. One that just balances up super nice. Has a lot of shape out of the top side of a skeleton. Yes, we or shape out the top side of a skeleton. Super square coming and going. Like a lot of good things about him. Uh, this young man's bear here is going to be second. Really, really like this hog coming at you. Extremely bold in his chest. Extremely bold when you get on top of him in terms of his meat animal shape. However, when we go ahead and we discuss that, well, wait, we're at, I read him just a little bit staler in his overall composition. I'd really like to freshen him up. Uh, we could maybe move him up a, or a place higher in this class, but a very good bear there to stand in second. As we go ahead here, uh, the young lady here is going to go ahead and have third in this class. Really nice bear in terms of being sound. In terms of being sound, functional, and from the side, uh, easy feeding type of hog. That's uh, still square and still genuine from behind. Like a good things about that one. Young man over there brings a stout, bold power for one. Just as two down on his front pasterns. And he goes ahead and it's just too bow-legged as he goes away. But another really good bear in his own right uh, to be commended. Uh, congratulations to those exhibitors.
Very good class of Yorkshire Bears, and I do feel like I need to clarify something from earlier. I don't mind if you paint the hogs white. I just would like it to all blend and look together and not take away from the animal. Uh, I do have noticed that some of these do look like they've been try trying to rinse that off. If we could go ahead and make all those white that, were, that we painted blend back in, that's what I want. I just don't want to take away from the animal and the kids' projects that's worked so hard as we're trying to fit on them back at the barns and make them look at or max them out out here in the ring. I do appreciate a really good fit job when it comes out into the ring. I just wish that everything would just blend and kind of go together a lot smoother. However, I do feel like there's a hammer out here in terms of a class winner and a really good second place. Young lady on the far side of the ring is going to have your class winner. I think that that one is a really, really good one. And uh, not a whole lot of holes there. Does a lot of things so well in terms of feeding that one's shape and dimension. But yet still looking like a show bearer from the side. Like that one a good deal. Young man 113 there is going to be second. I feel like that's a very close pair. I just, if I had to go ahead and critique these hogs, I just feel like that one was just a nickel staler today versus the one that beats him uh, but that one's a really big back thick ended hog that does a lot of things well young man coming right here you, this one has an absolute ginormous back in him like that a great deal uh, when you get off to the side of him though and you kind of get behind him he needs a little bit more in his lower twist and get off to the side he looks a little bit more staler in his overall appearance but a good bear there in his own right Young man here brings out another really big, fresh-backed one. However, I just read this one to be a little bit, or have just a little bit more cover on him than ideal. He's pushing a little bit more fat up through his jowl. And I just we go, need to trim him up there and style him up off the ground off of, that, off of his rear bone and appreciate that there. Young lady here brings out a really stout, productive-oriented type of hog with a big, robust center body in him. However, we just need to make him blend better out of the front side of his blade from his skull into his, into his blade. And as he goes away from you, one that, just, or one that just gets a little bit plainer in his overall shape and dimension, congratulations to that, or those exhibitors. Ugh, I can't talk. Uh, He's slow. ready to roll today. Uh, there's not a whole lot of talking there to convince me that that one's not the best Yorkshire Bear in the barn. He's going to go ahead and be your champion Yorkshire Bear. Congratulations.
Well, I think it certainly gets close out here for reserve. I mean, hogs that are definitely very comparable in terms of their makeup and their design and build out here. It's splitting hairs and it's getting close. Uh, you got one that's the stouter featured one that still handles it well. Is he fresh enough today? Uh, I don't know. But then you go ahead and you get the young ladies out here. One that's super genuine. One that comes at you square and goes away from you square. But is he stout enough at the ground in relation to the one that got second out of that last class? I just think that last class was really competitive. I got to keep those two together. Congratulations to this young man on a very, very good Yorkshire Barra. Not taking anything away from yours, but very good job. Our Two nice barrows out here to uh, fight for your reserve, county born barrow or Yorkshire barrow. Um, I really go ahead and I just grab, keep gravitating towards one. He's just got a little bit more two and more bone, more power, and more back shape. Young man right here is going to have your reserve. Congratulations to him. We need class 35 cross barrows into the holding arena, class 35.
Very challenging class to kind of put together here, but I do feel like there is one that does surface the more the drive wears on and he kind of shows himself out here. Young man right here is going to win this class just in terms of meat animal shape and uh, one that has a good good amount of feature through his forearm and, and rear foot and ankle. Like a lot of good things about that hog right there. Congratulations to that young man. Young lady right here in the teal shirt is going to go ahead and be second. Uh, just in terms of that, having that extra product and build and, and bulk, she goes ahead and gets second. Uh, need, need to go ahead and stout that thing up at the ground a little bit to get him higher, but a very, very good uh, bearer to go in second. Young man's going to go ahead and be in third by default. I like this one's build and design and one that just kind of read a little bit greener in the structure. However, with this being a mark... For Market Hog Show today, uh, he's one that has to come with more product. He's one that has to come with a little bit more bulk and overall fill to get him up any higher. lady that comes out in fourth brings us a nice sound practical bear uh, that does a lot of good things uh, well has some bone through his, has some bone and feature through his forearm has some length and extension from his blade forward just need more sharp aggressive shape there on the top side of that one skeleton young man has a really nice one when you go off to the side just closes too much as he comes right at you young lady right here another sound practical functional type of hog just read him a little bit more flatter two-dimensional his muscle shape young Young lady right here, nice commercial oriented type of hog that's very sound, just need more overall product and mass to get her up any higher. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Okay.
Certainly, uh, when showing hogs gets fun, and then and judging hogs gets fun, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I've ever sorted a top trio that's been this decent or this good, to be quite honest. And uh, they're splitting hairs between these two. I think there's one out here that I really like a lot, a lot, a lot. And not taking anything away from the bear in second, but the one that's in first is just so fresh. He's just so busted open underneath, but yet still gives you a great look from the side. Young man with the red hair there, he's gonna go ahead and have your class winner. That one is smoking, smoking good. Congratulations to him. Young man here, not taking anything away from you. When you first came in, I was like, whoa, those are some big legs, and big legs will catch a pin under me any day of the week, especially when you go ahead and you have that type of front end on you. However, when you, he comes right at you, he just needs to be a little bit more busted open compared to our class winner. That's where that pair sorts. And then as you go ahead and study him from behind, he could make use out of his hawk a little bit better as he takes the drive, but that's being really critical on a very stout, productive-oriented bear that gives you a really cool look. I told this young lady right here, I said, I really like this bear in terms of how stout and how rugged this hog is. When you get him behind him, he's just got to be better there. Uh, he's, he's the one that his hawk works to the edge of his framework the most of that initial three. Uh, so that's why he goes ahead and gets third. Young lady right here in four. I really like this hog in terms of just being productive and sound and uh, really good and shapely out of the top side of a skeleton when he just doesn't have enough power to run with the hogs and the top end of this class to get up any higher. Young man coming out in fifth. Like a lot of things about this hog, uh, he just gets a little bit level. Gets as we he get him out here and get him going one that just uh, pinches a little bit there at the top side of his blade uh, really like to clean him up though in his ear set uh, and as he gets going just needs a little bit more power at the ground to move up any higher young man coming out next really nice shapely uh, type of bear out of the top side of his blade however just one that gets a little bit tighter in his spine and his overall movement as he goes young lady has one that's super pliable through through his center body however just one that needs to be peeled back in terms of his overall cover to get him up any higher but a really good class of bears uh, smoking good there at the top end let's give those guys a round of applause <laughs> Our next driver here is for the Sandy and Lightning Cross from Class 35, Jacob Rear, and Class 36, Matt Summers. Very good division of pigs and uh, these uh, kids need to be commended for it. There's just one that just fits me super well and I like him a great deal. Young man out of that second class, he's going to go have your champion lightweight. Congratulations to him. As we bring that second place out in class, you know, we talked about that one as needing to be, uh, or just uh, need to be having just a shot more chest coming at you. However, from the side, I do think that that one is our second best one in terms of overall composition and overall balance. He's going to be your reserve out of this division. That very good pair of bears. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
Sir County Red. I just feel like there's one that's a little bit denser in the skeleton. If you can go ahead and make that one a little better from behind, I think you really got something. The young lady with the black bear is going to have your Reserve County Red. Congratulations to her. Comes out of pin one, brings a pretty darn good one out here. One that's super sound and functional as he takes the drive and uh, really like this one in terms of his top shape on or his how fresh he is in the top side of his skeleton. Love this guy out of his blade. Uh, builds incredible. Can make, uh, that young man needs to be commended on a very, very good type of a hog. Young lady right here is going to be second. Uh, I believe this might have been Ricky Bobby as he came out into the ring. Uh, but one that you really like in terms of once this bear is settled down, he reads fresh enough out of the backside of his blade. He gives you a good look up through his front end. Like a lot of things about that bear, congratulations to that young lady. Young man here brings one that's extremely shapely out of the top side of his blade. I really like that a good deal. Just needs to be better from behind to get up any higher. Congrats to that young man.
lady that brings the black hog out here uh, and forth. Uh, we like this one and just in terms of how practical this one is. Practical, easy feeding, level in his lines, has enough shape and expression up high to go ahead and come on. Uh, the one that comes in fifth, uh, one that's got a lot of bark to him, just question how genuine that one is in terms of his overall shape. We'll let young lady coming out in six. Uh, good production oriented type of hog. Just need more muscle and mass to make up any higher. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
when the hogs are this good at the top end and we're three deep in this class, it's really just honestly splitting hairs. And uh, it, I mean, it comes down to just personal preference. Uh, I prefer one bear in one area over the other. And so that's what I'm going to go ahead and roll with. I think the young ladies is the loosest spine and the loosest made one out here off of either end of his skeleton. So she's going to go ahead and win this class. One that's extremely big backed, really rugged in this feature. Love a lot of good things about that hog. Not taking anything away from the young man's here that's in second. One that's getting a little bit stilty out of his front end. But you want to talk about one that's, pro that's so hard to make in terms of that one's build and design and the way that that one or the way that that thing is so stout featured that he is absolutely maxed out on the top of his blade with as much roll and turn that he has there and one that is super square from behind just need to make him a little looser might have been the electric more electrolytes than the other today I don't know but that's a really really good bear to be put in the second Young man right here, you got to feel for him because when he loaded this one up, I doubt he thought that he'd stand in third in class. Uh, we describe this one, front two-thirds, love him. Absolutely love him. He's extremely stout in his feature. He's extremely mobile. He's extremely loose made. However, when you step in behind him, he's just got to be better there. He's got to be square to get him up any higher, but a very good bear to, in his own right to go in third. Young man right here, sound, pounds heavy, productive oriented type of hog. Like a good thing, a lot of good about him. Uh, just has a lot of top shape through the top side of a skeleton. Need to be square from behind. Reads a little bit plainer in the shape compared to the initial three, but a really good bear in his own right. Young man that comes out next. Just simply has a more shapely bear than the young lady that's th or th that rounds out the class below him. Uh, it has a little bit more product there. A young lady that comes out next has one that's super length or that's super extended through his front end. Uh, gets a little bit frailer at the ground. Needs a little bit more shape and spread to get her up any higher. Congratulations. Third, Evan Harsh, and fourth, Matt Harsh. Our next drive here will be the champion of any more than I have to. Uh, I simply it's splitting hairs, but at the same time, there's one that just has more. Young lady, congratulations. You're going to go ahead and beat your brother out here. Congratulations. As we bring that second out, I think I'm just going to keep that pair together, and I'm not taking anything away from this young man's bear here, because that one's super sound and functional. However, when it comes to just terms of one that's really hard to make and one that's super unique, I like that young man's a great deal. He's going to be your reserve. Thank you. 
Here's gonna be four, there's gonna be three, two, one. Go ahead and fire them up. Well, as we get out here, and uh, I'm a sucker, honestly, for a belted blue one. Uh, the best one that I ever showed was a belted blue one. So those things are really near and dear to my heart. And uh, this thing isn't just a good belted blue one. This thing is probably an elite belted blue one, and I don't use that term uh, very on, or very uh, easily, uh, one that's super stout boned and one that comes out of the backside of his shoulder with a lot of shape and dimension and spread, yet still handles it really square from behind, an extremely thick-ended hog too, that's extremely sound, I like that one a good deal. Young lady over here in the purple shirt on the far side of the ring with the chromed up hog, that one's going to be second, really like that one from the side, extremely shapely out through, through his loin edge, really, really good. Good looking from the side, heavy through his forearm. Just need more in the seat of his pants, really, to move that one up any higher. But if, and ran into a bus off a Baron first. Congratulations to that her to that young lady. Young lady right here with the red bow is going to go ahead and be third simply because of the fact I thought that this bear was just a nickel square from behind uh, and a little bit stouter legged than the uh, bear that comes in fourth. We studied that one from the side, super tall front, it's stout through his forearm, like a lot of things about him. Um, yes, that one could be square, but he, I believe that he is a little square than the one that comes in fourth. Young lady right here that comes in fourth, just need to stout this one up at the ground on his rear foot and bone, and yet at the same time, need to peel some cover off. But yeah, that one does do some cowboy walking going away, but still a very good pair or a very good bear in his own right. Young lady here brings one that's extremely robust and through his inner body and extremely opened up like that about it. Just need to make him more attractive through his front end and attractive, attractive in his overall design. Young man just brings one that's the Pounds Light Bear that just needs some more added product and dimension to get up any higher. Very good pair, bear in his own right though. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
Young lady out here with the braided hair. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and elect to use her to start off the class. Just one that's extremely sound and uh, one that you really like in terms of being a big-ended hog. You can still handle it when she does get him drove. Uh, one that does, or he, his lines do come together. I would like to make him maybe a nickel stouter in his ankle. However, that's being super critical of one. Maybe freshen him up in his chine for being this weight, but a very good bear in his own right. Young lady right here is going to be in second. If this one was just at, if this one is just too dry in his center body and his forerib. If you go ahead and this, that one has some extra weight on him, some extra fill on him, we could probably look at getting that one up a little higher because he's got the biggest forearm, the widest chest, and he's the tallest fronted hog in this class. However, he's just too dry in the center portion of his body. That's why he goes ahead and gets second. Young lady here brings a really good one. Sound, practical, easy feeding. Like a lot of things about that one. Really shapely up high. However, we just need more in the seat of this guy's pants. Need to clean him up back there in that flank. He's thrown, shown a little bit more waste back there than what I would deem ideal, but a very good Barrett to go ahead and get third. Young man brings a really good productive-oriented productive, productive oriented hog out. Uh, that's super dense in his forearm. Need to square him up from behind. Young man's Tam appearing Barra. Extremely, extremely bold through his center body. However, we just need to stouten this guy up at the ground in order to get him up any higher. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Light heavy, so we're not even to the big boys yet. There's only one class of big boys. So, do you guys like weigh in before, like, and that's it? You just weigh in before? As we go ahead and we drop that second place out here, and relative to the other class winner, uh, that one is, I still think, really, really good in his lines. One that's extremely, extremely good through his top line. Like that thing when she, that one gets popped off and is on the move and on the go. I really like that thing through his throat a little better than the young lady that goes ahead and wins the second class. I think that that one still has enough in terms of extra shape and dimension to go ahead and be reserved. She's gonna go ahead and be your reserve. Congratulations to that young lady. Our champion line in the late prom trial today is presented by Gavin Young and the Turkey sponsorship by Elvin and Virginia Dawn and the reserve champion line in heavyweight is Isabel Scales.
I like to just ki- or I remember him. I, we like him a great deal just in terms of his build and design. Just need to clean him up in his flank, give him more in the seat of his pants. The young man has a really nice tall fronted barrow, just gets too pinched in his forerib. I'm going to go ahead and elect to use the young lady's calico to be reserved at County Bread. Congratulations to that young lady.
Well, uh, when the kids have me running around their hogs, uh, that's good showmanship and trying to hide a flaw. I appreciate that, honestly. Game recognizes game there because that's what I tell my kids is, you know, go give them three steps and then turn. And uh, that young man did a good job there of trying to hide that. Uh, a young lady here in the bow, though, is going to win this class very handily. I think one that's very nice in terms of his overall build and design. One that's it's fresh enough, I guess, at the top side of his skeleton. Sure, you'd like to square that one up, maybe a nickel from behind as he likes to push and roll as he plants, but it's still a very good bear in his own right. If we could change these bears or combine them, we could probably have ourselves a pretty good hog here. I'm gonna go ahead and elect to go with the young man's blue hog. I just feel like he's a nickel stouter. He's a nickel more genuine out of the top side of his blade with the, and his shape up high. Need to fix him as he goes up front. He gets straighter in his knee and his blade. Need to fix him a little bit from behind as he starts to bow. Young man right here, love this, love this hog from the side. He comes right at me, he gets in his knee too much and he narrows up too much at the base. I like to make him a little bit more genuine in his shape up high, but a really good bear to go ahead and be third. Young man that comes out in fourth, the bear was giving him some fits down there at the end and uh, we really like this one in terms of how shapely back that this guy is. He just gets too plain about his head and neck and his jowl and uh, as he drives he just needs more bone on his front front forearm and more feature go, going away. Square him up a nickel from his hawk. Young man here, just bear gets a nickel too plain as he goes. Young lady here, bear just gets a nickel too plain. Really, really would like to freshen this one up. Make this one a purebred Hereford. We might have something. Congratulations to that young lady. Crossbred exhibitors on these uh, division winners. I mean, wow, very, very good pigs. 
you know, it comes down to, you know, splitting hairs and in no particular order. I'm just going to talk them all uh, real quick. The young lady with the bow that comes out of that last division, we like that thing from the side. Uh, you know, one that's super tall fronted and good looking. Uh, just one that we think, you know, his best days might have been a couple days ago or a couple weeks ago. But one that is extremely stout through his skull and his jawline like that about him. Love his feature and how loose made that he is. Just would like to make him fresher in his overall appearance. Uh, we talked to the young Mansbera, you know, with the red hair there. Uh, that thing in the lightweights, that thing is smoking, smoking good. And to be quite honest, until we got to these other two, I thought that that one had the crossbred show whipped, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but we got out here and these things kept getting better and better. And certainly the, that one's definitely in the discussion. The young ladies that's out here in the blue, um, we saw that one and uh, we remember that reserve and that division. And that was such a tough division. Uh, you know, because we like that reserve in terms of how unique he was. But yet this one, super loose made in his spine. And when this young lady really gets him and goes, uh, he's got enough, as much feature as any. He's super robust through his center body. Has a 50-gallon drum in him for a rib cage. He yet still handles it and is completely square off of either end of his skeleton. So that's a really, really good one. And then this young man's blue, uh, we talked about that one, is just being so unique. One that's incredibly stout featured, but yet still unique youthful enough up front and then as he goes away he plants and drives and hits his holes with ease and I mean and he's level hipped and he's built for speed and so really I don't know if I could go wrong uh, with you know especially these three out here I mean not counting anything away from the young lady out of that last division but uh, it's an incredibly incredibly tough division out here uh, I guess the one that really suits me best probably came out of the toughest division congratulations to that young lady I like that one you go ahead and be champion. It was an incredibly, incredibly tough crossbred show, and uh, as we get out here, uh, it, it's still between the same three divisions, and uh, we really like all three of those, and uh, you know, I just talked them all, but I'll talk this one. We did mention that one. This one was so unique, and one, if we could just make that one just a little better in the angulation to his blade, uh, that, one's, uh, that one runs very, very hard, and uh, just make that one kind of boogie off of both ends of his skeleton, that one would be really good good um it's splitting hairs out here guys to be quite honest uh the one that i like second best probably going to be the belted bear out of that second division congratulations to that young or young man congrats you were driving that that, that reserve right yep yep congratulations Thank you. 
that one that would have been probably third or fourth out in the crossbred show congratulations to him you know and as we get to oh, you got another one we good and as we get to talking uh, you know out there in that or out there in division uh, you know we like this big hog. We talked that one. That one came out of that extremely competitive division. Uh, and so, you know, it's splitting hairs out here. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the young man there on the far side of the ring for reserve. I really like that hog a great deal as well. Congratulations to that one.
program here and uh, let's give all these many 4-H'ers a round of applause. A pretty awesome job. So uh, something that I think is pretty cool that our county doesn't do where I'm from and uh, it's going to help build the program and get more kids interested in it and hopefully uh, this is a positive experience for them. So uh, let's give them all a, or a round of applause as they exit the ring. These kids did an awesome, awesome job. Yep, go out out there, down there. Hey buddy, go out right down there in that corner. Come on, socks. How old are you? Seven. And what's your pig's name? Is it one of your sister's pigs or brother's pigs? Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, good good luck out there. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Come on. There we go. All right. What's your name? Okay, what grade are you in? Second. Second. Going into third. Nice. And um, what's your pig's name? You don't have a name? All right. Well, hey, let's go out there and have some fun, all right? Well, how are you? Are you nervous? It's fine. It's okay. We're going to have fun out here. My name's Thomas. What's your name? Okay, Bailey? Is that what? Vela. Okay, Vela. My name's Thomas, and I'll help you when you're out here, okay? We're going to come out here and have some fun. What's your pig's name? What's his name? Timmy. Timmy? I like it. Hey, we're going to have some fun out here, okay? What do you think? What do you know today? <laughs> okay, what's your pig's name? Miller. Miller? And what's your name? Lane. Lane? Mm -hmm. All right, good luck, buddy. How are you? I like your shirt. Okay, what's your pig's name? Kurt? Chrome. Chrome. Oh, yep, we just had Chrome out there, didn't we? So, all right, well, hey, good luck. What's your name? Bridge. What? Bridge. Bridge? Hey, give me a high five. Come on. All right, you ready to have some fun? All right. Oh, what's your name? Can I have a high five? Give me a high five. There you go.
Super fun out here, and uh, give all of these kids a great big round of applause. They do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I'll stand here. Okay, cool. So, as these kids exit the ring, uh, I just wanted to point out a few kids I thought did a really, really good job. Young man over there with the Tamworth. He can flat stick one. I mean, that he's doing a really good job. Young lady right here in the sunflower shirt's doing an awesome job. And this young man staying right in front of me all day. So, uh, very good job. Let's give all these kids a round of applause as they exit the ring. Sorry, excuse me. So what's your pig's name? You don't have a pig? You're just showing a sibling's pig or a friend's? You gonna have some fun out here? Awesome, I like it. What do you know, what's your name? Carl. Carl? Carter. Carter, okay. And uh, what's your pig's name? Sally. Sally? All right, well good luck, bud. What's your name? Ellison. Ellison, I like it. What's your pig's name? Tom what? Tom, T the pig's name is what? Tom. Tom. Okay, that works. <laughs> What's up? What's your name? You ready to have some fun? What's your pig's name? Okay. <laughs> All right, that works, buddy. Hey, what's your name? What's your pig's name? Hampshire Time. Hampshire Time. I like it. No business like the Hampshire business. Okay, we got Chrome. He's pretty famous. Now, what's your pig's name? Or what's your name? Lana. N pardon? Uh, Lana. Lana? Okay, well, hey, good luck out there, okay? How you doing, buddy? What's your name? Lucas. Okay, what's your pig's name? What? Penny. Penny? Well, good luck. All right, big guy, what's your name? Oh, come on, give me a high five. There we go. What's your pig's name? Bruno. Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. All right, you ready? Thank you. 
Their fr friends or siblings, pigs, that they're driving a run for their money out there in the show ring. So uh, let's give them a big, huge round of applause as we let these guys out. Uh, just a couple real quick that I want to point out. This young man with Bruno, we don't talk about Bruno, but uh, Bruno, he does a really good job showing that one. Uh, Chrome, he's been out here for all three heats of, uh, of sh a P we showmanship, so he's that young lady's doing a really good job with him. So really good job to all these exhibitors. Let's give them all a round of applause again as they exit the ring. Congratulations to those guys. <laughs> Hampshire time.
Have a good one. trying to get these pigs grouped up by pairs and I do think that it's close but however I do lean towards uh, one of them just to, in terms of uh, the way they did in the show I definitely remember the one that was in the show and uh, these crossbreds I think are pretty good and especially for the pair of them so they're going to be your champion pair uh, let's congratulate those exhibitors congratulations guys Liked him. Uh, he ran pretty hard in class, and then that Calico, I believe, was second or third in class, and uh, we really liked him. And that was a very tough crossbred show. And seeing them out here together, I mean, they fit the mold, they fit the type and kind, and they are very, very good together. And uh, they're going to be your second best pair. Let's give them a round of applause. Congrats! Congrats! <laughs> Our grand champion, Sarah Barrow, will be presented by Layla Lawson, and the trophy and competition is by the Beck Family Showcase. This is the third grand champion, Sarah Barrow, presented by the Nobel Scale, and the Beck Foundation is by the Lady Strong. Next, we're excited because we have all our champion yells lined up, and then we'll have our driver, our grand champion yells.
Well, an awesome, an awesome show today, and I'm completely honored to come out here. And uh, last minute, and uh, they gave me a call yesterday saying uh, the guy who was supposed to show uh, had double booked, and so uh, they gave me a phone call, and uh, I left my wife on her family vacation and drove three hours, even though I only live an hour from here, drove three hours uh, to come here, and uh, just ex super thankful for my wife, and just... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting emotional and just letting me come uh, and sort your guys show. It's been a complete honor But there's uh, a few of these guilts out here guys that have hit me extremely extremely hard today And uh, there's one that I think is just an absolute smoke show of a hog And I really hope she goes to Indy in a couple weeks because I think that that one is going to absolutely run really 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 hard in her breed That Berkshire is going to be your champion. Congratulations to that young man Congrats. Yep Oh, too old, yep. Our grand champion of today is going to be known by Gary Young and his sponsorship in the memory of God, and after by the Zenshan. That hit me extremely, extremely hard. And just to talk about them in no particular order, uh, the young lady's land race. I really like that one a great deal. She surely gets into the mix. One that I feel like is extremely unique for this her breed. Uh, extremely bold and powerful, but yet still good looking. Runs uphill. I really like this crossbred. Uh, one that's extremely bold. We like her uh, in terms of her extra power she has. Remember, we talk about that one in class and in division. That one could be just a little bit more relaxed in terms of her blade, but a really good gill in her own right. But there's just another one out here that suits me a little bit better and hit me really hard. That young lady's Duroc is going to be reserved. Congratulations. Yep. Our reserve grand champion, Duroc. 
Well, as we get on out here and we drop that reserve uh, Duroc in, we remember that that pair was super close and that was a very tough division. However, I do think there's another one that came out of a smoke show of a division that was really competitive. That cross will be your third best. Congratulations. Well, uh, when she brought her out here I, in class and she was a single entry, I definitely sh thought she probably would have been used in probably one of those first three spots. But as we get her out here, she definitely falls into the mix. That land race, she'll be your fourth. Congratulations. Yep. Well, as we get out here for fifth and uh, to wrap up your guilt show, it's been a phenomenal guilt show, really has been. Uh, just in no particular order, I'm going to talk about a few of these that I think are in contention. I do think this reserve Durox in contention, one that shows sharp at the top of her blade, one that has a ton of extension from her blade forward, but yet from there back is extremely sound as she goes throughout the ring. I do like that champion spot a good deal. We talk about that one. If you fix that one up on her front feet, uh, that one's a freak of nature in terms of her bone and added feature and mass that she possesses. Yes, we would like to make her a nickel fresher up high, but yet one that suit reaches and has so much comfort out here on the go. This cross spread, we talked about her. She is one chest shot away from being one that can just flat out run away with this thing, we think. Uh, one that's extremely, extremely tall fronted, good looking from the side. However, there's one that I really like, an another one that I really like out here that hit me really hard today. That young lady's Yorkshire guilt's going to be fifth. Congratulations to her. Hey, good job, buddy. Good guilt. Very good guilt. Hey, very good job.
Okay, let's go. Thank you. 
All these barrier exhibitors, it's really truly been a great show uh, there at the top end, especially. Uh, it's a two horse race out here for Grand Champion, and not taking anything away from the other bears, but the bears that I'm really considering are this crossbred and the York. Uh, those are the two that uh, I'm splitting hairs between and trying to and, and trying to decide. Uh, no particular order. This young lady's crossbred. We really like that one in terms of how big back that one is. Extremely fresh at the top side of his skeleton, but yes, super loose made. One that could get out and go and can grab that extra gear when the young lady asks him to and comes at you super wide and robust it through his chest. Uh, a lot of good things about that hog that you really can't pick a hole in. Uh, young ladies, Yorkshire, when this thing is, uh, when she gets it popped off from the side, is as good as anything. Super relaxed and he loved the angulation to his blade. Uh, super sound and flexible off of his uh, rear rear end of his skeleton and one that is super fresh backed as well uh the it's it's close out here between the pair however there is one that just came out of a super tough division one that was tougher than the other this crossbred will be your champion congratulations to her him if we could just fix him in a couple areas I mean that thing's an absolute smoke show I'd like to loosen him, loosen him up off of his rear end of his skeleton one that has a drive war on he got a little bit straight uh, he was super maxed out don't know if we just shoved some clear fluids to him uh, as we were back there in the barn and some water just some plain water without electrolytes he's out here kind of moving a little bit better still is a little bit straight fronted however I do think that that one is extremely hard to make he's going to be your second best now you can applaud him he's your reserve champion. Congrats.
Uh, this will be my last time here on the mic talking to hogs before we get into showmanship. Thank you guys again for having me out here today. I'll just go through and shake the hands of uh, the rest of your guys' top five, third through fifth. Uh, but one more time, let's give all these kids a really big round of applause. Incredible, incredible show today. Uh, very, very nice show.
workers of these hogs uh, need to be commended as all these were from it or from this county and uh, definitely some really good stock out here in the ring I asked this lady or young lady with the land race I said where'd you get these land races out in this county uh, I trade some pigs and I was like I maybe I need to start come shopping in this county for a land race I really do like that one a great deal however there is one uh, that I like a lot or there is another one that hit me really hard today in class and uh, when this one came out like I said I thought he had the show one until the uh, so the big boys came in the ring and that lightweight crossbred, he's going to be your reserve. Congratulations to him. Hey, very good pig, man. Very good pig. Nobody put the baby in the corner. Move him.
Well, I'm here for showmanship. Uh, as you can tell, the hogs don't matter to me anymore, and I'm judging the kids. And uh, when we get out here, uh, what's something that I'm going to be looking for is eye contact, how well you keep your pig moving. I know the out gate's going to be a problem, but uh, if you can kind of recover well and get back out here, that's fine. For these uh, first for this first year showmanship, I really didn't care if the kids shut the gate or not. I asked them to go ahead and please shut them too, just in case they did or didn't, and to open them for them. But something that for the older kids, uh, they're going to have to do that themselves. So I'm really not going to discount on that. Um, also, I do remember some of these. I do have an advantage because I judge you all day. So uh, if you left a good impression with me, you know, first thing today, uh, the way that you showed, uh, typically, you know, that's going to help you right here in, in showmanship too. Um, just real quick, I'm going to talk a few before I select your champion. Uh, no particular order. I'm going to talk to that young lady with the spot barrel that's all the way in the corner with the white tank top. Initially, she gave a really good first impression. Like that a good deal. Uh, Bear's just giving her some fits right now, and, and that's something that you'll have, you know, as uh, the day wears on at the county show. But the two that I think it really gets between is the young lady right here with the red tank top and the uh, this young lady right here with the red tank top. I think that they are both really good in terms of... It must be a, some sort of rivalry or friends because they both smiled at each other when I said that. So that's something that's really fun that you like to see um, out here in showmanship. And, you know, they were both kind of have their pigs over there in the corner and they recovered and came out well. But they, they're they ones that kind of have stuck with me all day. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select them um, on how I see fit. The one I think did a better job throughout the whole day and the one uh, whose pig is kind of acting up on her now is the young lady right here closest to me she's gonna go ahead and be champion right there congratulations Thank you. yep hey very good job just
a small division here, but the quality of showmen is absolutely deep and I uh, definitely think that these kids could have had some more competition out here. Uh, no particular order, the young lady in the pink, I think does a really nice job in terms of getting that animal drove. However, I'd like to see a little bit more intensity with your eye contact. I would like to let relax you in your body language and have you stand a little bit more relaxed as you show instead of being all bent down. But you do a very good job of keeping your animal moving and you have all day and you do a very good job of eye contact, just need a little bit more intensity with your eye contact. Uh, the young man over here, super intense with his eye contact. I love that. Showmanship, don't know if I'm a huge fan of touching the pig or not, man. But, you know, other than that, a really good job of giving me good eye contact. Great first impression. Very good job on that. Young lady right here has done a really great job throughout the whole day. When I went and pressed her on her animal, she went and around the front side of that pig. Stopped for a second, but yet we were back up and moving. One thing that I really liked has worked her, her butt off all day and really really got, drove some nice hogs. She's going to go ahead and be champion. Congratulations to those exhibitors.
Well, a really good class here. Let's go ahead and give them a round of applause here real quick. My two honorable mentions I'll talk about here. I'll make it, uh, how many am I allowed? Let's do three here. So my uh, three honorable mentions here that I'm going to talk about that did a phenomenal job. A uh, young man right here with the Tamworth. I love this. I love the way that this guy shows. I love his eye contact. He's super intense there. When I went over there and tried to fool everybody, he was the one that always hit the hole and went back and forth through there uh, when a couple people kind of stayed behind me. And you kind of went over there and got in front of there. That's one thing I do like. I just want to relax you in your overall posture. You're so good with your eye contact and your hog placement. If we relax you in your posture we're really talking about something there uh, the young young man right here is going to be my honorable mention and he honestly was probably leading the pack until I went over there and I went over there trying to see if he'd drive his hog in front of me but he that's one thing that he just did not do but a young man that still does a really great job of just flat getting one stuck getting one's head up knowing where I'm at in the ring and does a great great job congratulations to him he does an awesome awesome job so yeah, so he's one. Oh, good job, buddy. Then one more. And then the young lady over here with the Duroc is going to be another honorable mention. One that's super relaxed in terms of her composure. Very good eye contact. I just want to see you hit him a little faster, hit those holes. But really, really great job. But the one that I thought that did the best, he's the most relaxed out here. And the way that in his demeanor, but yet still intense and does a great job. Hits those holes when I wanted him to. The only thing he did wrong is you crossed in front of me a couple times. When I wanted you to cross in front of the pig, the young man with the blue bear, he's going to go ahead and be your champion in this division. Congratulations. Yep. Hey, so just...
Well, these kids certainly aren't making it easy any easier on me uh, and out here, and it's just nitpicking and personal preference, And but I'm going to go ahead and give you three uh, of the um, honorable mentions out here, as well as uh, one that I'm going to keep back, and uh, I think that one that I keep back is to compete in the master, and so getting to see that person compete in the master uh, is going to be very fun to me, and I think uh, we'll see how the, it all shakes out there. Um, but the young lady right here with the Paisley, she's going to be my first honorable mention. One that does such a good job, and I love her intensity and the way that she uh, drives her animal throughout the ring. Uh, if I believe that animal is chrome, and he had a heck of a time in, uh, min in miniature showmanships. So I went through in many showmanships and asked all the kids, uh, you know, their pigs' names, and well, that pig was back to back. To back so uh, he's about out of gas and she did a great job of keeping them rolling and keeping them moving I just wish I could stand her up in terms of her posture but however she is a lot taller than what I am so um, by me saying that she does have to kind of bend down a little bit but uh, very very good in her own right uh, the young man right here he was dang dang close and uh, one that I really like a great deal he gave me everything and honestly did everything as well as you could probably do it and as well as I wanted to see it done I'm sorry I put I made you hit the gate over there, but uh, you did a great, great job. Uh, congratulations to that young man. The other honorable mention of, out here didn't have the greatest first impression. Not going to lie, but once you passed that, if she would have shut the gate, uh, things might have shaked out a little different for her. But however, I'm not willing to... Or, uh, I'm not saying that I'm willing to overlook that, but I'm willing to overlook it enough to give her a shot because she was hitting all the holes and her spacing was good. Love how relaxed she is in her posture, but yet still remaining great eye contact. And that's the young lady with the black headed guild over there in the far side of the ring. Congratulations to her. Actually, can I do four? Yeah. Can I, can I do four real quick? Honorable mentions. Yeah. 
Okay, we're going to do one more, and uh, somebody that, kept, that hit me really hard as he kind of drove out, and uh, he got stuck in the corner there for a little bit, and uh, you're fighting your pig over there in the corner, and so that's why I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to use him or not, uh, give you an honorable mention, but I will. Young man with the really good hair over there, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use him. He does a great job, and uh, sometimes, you know, your partner just doesn't want to work with you on that day, but uh, tremendous, tremendous uh, job and get, getting that pig out of the corner and getting back out here but uh guys it's a smoke show or the one that wins this to me uh just absolutely smoked this and how this kid is still in this division and non-master i have absolutely no clue because everything she did is perfect her eye contact is so good and the way her posture is throughout the ring is exactly what i'm looking for the young lady with the blue striped shirt but that yorkshire is going to be your champion congratulations
Uh, I can't place them, okay? So as we get them out here, guys, uh, let's give these guys a round of applause. Uh, I tried to trick them. I saw the, uh, a guy who I consider uh, a mentor of mine. I don't know if he knows I consider him a mentor of mine. But uh, I saw him do that one time on Walton Webcasting when he was judging the Florida State Fair and Willie Kirkpatrick. And uh, those kids, uh, they came right out and he and uh, they went out there and just started driving. So that was kind of a trick I learned from him. And uh, I, I just kind of wanted to do that and implement that. I think it's really cool. I think it gets uh, the crowd very up close and personal uh, with the pigs and the kids. And hey, let's just let that one chill out. She's wore out, hun. But just we're good. It's not going to count against you. I promise. So as we get on out here, guys, uh, very great kids did a very good job. I'm just going to talk about them on how they did. A young lady with the Yorkshire Gill, she'll be our first honorable mention that wins that senior division. Partner just wore out on you as the drive wore on, and it just happens. But, hey, I think, you know, as you go on and as you... Uh, as you go on, and I know that you're probably going to go to Indy, but as you go on and go to Indy, I think uh, I'd probably be betting on you to see you in the top ten in your particular division that you're going to be at down there. So uh, just keep your head up and keep working because everything you did in that vast division was so spot on and so good. So keep your head up, okay? As we get on down here, guys, it gets closer. I'm going to go with the young man in the curly hair on the far side of the ring next. Uh, I really liked how you drove your pig to the other person uh, when you went to go switch. I really liked that a great deal. I just wish I could see you pick up the pace, just a nickel. So if I had, it's part of it's the pig, she has a little bit slower pace. But uh, out here in Master and Senior Showmanship, we would just, I'd like to pick up the pace, just a nickel. Uh, the young lady right here does a really good job on her spacing and eye contact like that about her uh, like I said uh, pre pretty similar with the young man and we could just let her uh, chill out before we let that one uh, you know get really tied on us but just a really good job just comes down to personal preference but these two I thought were the smoothest by far out here in the ring today in the way that they showed and especially in showmanship when they went and crossed over in front their hog never missed a beat and they kept rolling and kept going comes down to personal preference but the one that i'm going to elect to use for master is going to be the young man right here congratulations to him he had a heck of a heck of a time you absolutely did everything flawless out here when you showed. I loved how your pig just kept hitting that hole and kept moving when you went around the front of it. Awesome, awesome job. Uh, just need to be commended for that, but just personal preference today. But still, keep your head up, and uh, hopefully you go to Indianapolis and do some good. So congratulations, everybody, and thanks for having me.